So you sit there and you ask yourself, what the heck is wrong with me? Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You want me to tell you what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You're focusing on the wrong thing. See, when you're dealing with your own shortcomings, when you're dealing with your own failures and, and things that you're not happy with, uh, you have fumbled the ball, so to speak. Well, guess what? Who hasn't? You have fallen short. Really? Join the club of the human race. You have acted in a way that is very embarrassing to you. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe it's because there are open, runny wounds inside of you. Maybe it's because you are emotionally and psychologically scarred. Maybe something has hurt you so deeply and, and disabled you, so to speak. This is what you need. You need to go to God with all of your failures. Got hair in my mouth. You need to go to God with all of your failures. You need to go to God with all of your hurts, all of your fears, and all of your shame. And if you carry in guilt, take that too. None of that is of God. See, this is what I love about God. We want to punish ourselves for having a broken leg. All God wants to do is heal it. You want to punish yourself for not doing as well as you think you should have done. All God wants to do is heal. You want to punish yourself for having the jitters after having a car accident. Mm -hmm. God wants to heal you, which will automatically remove the jitters. God wants to free you from fear. See, you're nitpicking at yourself. You are, are you, you got your little check, your little list, you're checking it, you're checking it twice. And as far as you can see, you need to be scratched off of God's list because you don't know when you're going to get this together. Well, don't you worry about whether you're on his list or not. Don't you walk away from him. Don't you run away. Don't you dare. I will find somebody who knows how to do lasso. And they'll grab that rope and whip it around and snatch you back. Don't you dare give up on yourself. Now, I mean that. That's what my husband used to say when he was threatening. I said, mm-hmm. I mean that. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare discount yourself. Don't disqualify yourself. You let God do the deep work while you keep putting one foot in front of the other. I don't care how many times you got to stumble to get there. You keep going. You keep your eyes on that goal. Now, I'm ordering you around and I'm telling you what to do. Yeah, because I know better. But listen, be encouraged. Don't get yourself down. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God. That is not what he's doing with you. Once you recognize or experience the supernatural love of God, you will never see him giving up on you while you're trying? Oh, no. No. You can try till the cows come home and you can break every dish in the house. 
and God will come in the house with a brand new set of dishes to help you learn how to wash them. Hopefully you won't break as many, but expectedly, yeah, you're going to break some more. That's God's unconditional love. Isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that make you want to stay close to him? Even when you're at your worst.